What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Am Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are diving into a very special video because we have the rest of our AEW Unrivaled, not Unrivaled, it's Unmatched series, you dumb jackass. You see the silver? It's silver. It's not gold. It is the Unmatched Collection Series number three. Dark Order figures. We got number 18, 19, 21, oh god, 21 and 20. Out of, out of pocket right there. Out of order. Gotta fix it. Now we're all good. But we covered Brody Lee yesterday, guys. We're gonna see what he looks like up next to the rest of them, of course course but we have the rest of the faction we have dark order right here it's not everybody of course you know it's not every single member down to the last detail but it's a great start to our faction here and it looks really good in action figure form but i went Brody lee yesterday by himself if you guys missed that video definitely go check it out but today we have the rest of the set featuring Stu grayson evil uno john silver and anna J. really nice addition here we have all, the whole line is first time in the line so that's just wonderful i know a lot of people are excited about that we get to expand our rosters if you guys would like to grab this set you can do so over at ringside collectibles use promo code md toys to save your sells 10 percent use that priority shipping i don't know if this this set is in stock and there's only five figures in this wave because darby allen the ljn darby allen didn't fit in his packaging they had to like repurpose him so we will be getting him at a later date you know every other unmatched series there's an ljn figure a retro figure so that will be the deal there and i think they're trying to implement some other things into these lines but you guys know that unmatched series four we get our cm punk figure and that will be insane but we do have series three here we got dark order we're gonna cover it i may do the ranking and stuff in this video or should I do a My Damn Thoughts on it. I, I feel like people enjoy the My Damn Thoughts on the whole series, so we may do one of those. Let me know if you guys want to see a My Damn Thoughts on Unmatched Series number three. But here we go, man. Let's start off with Stu Grayson. Here's his figure. Him and John Silver look so much alike to me, especially in figure form, but we're going to get into all those things. Here is his full deal. Looking really cool. Of course, we do have our upper deck carts here. We may unpack, you know, all those packs together there, but you got Stu Grayson there, over there. Then on the back, you get a, you know, of course, a shot of him there. Then the next one in the set, we do have Evil Uno. I feel like Evil Uno, my first perceptions of him were way different than how I feel about him now. But we get a masked character. Very cool. Lots of one-of-one -one molds here. Lots of accessories with these guys in this Unmatched Series 3. But here's Evil Uno. A lot of people love him. On the back, you get another shot of him there. Love that. Next up, we have John Silver. Another great-looking figure. A bit cartoony on the head, but we'll get into all those things as we dive in. You get some interchangeable heads. John Silver in our silver packaging for Unmatched. And last but not least, we have probably one of the better women figures they've made so far. We have Anna J. So we got Anna J. featured here from the Dark Order. I like the way these head sculpts look. We're going to get into all those things, of course. But we do have our unmatched collection there. And I like it, man. All these figures are looking pretty damn good. What we're going to do, she has like a very basic, like, high school style sort of signature going on, honestly. Like, a, uh, let me know if I'm wrong. Anyways, man, we're going to crack the Dark Order out of their packaging and take a look at all four of these guys and, and just kind of get it all going, man. So we're going to crack all these guys out and we'll one by one go through all of them, all their accessories, get into the breakdown and showcase him with Brody Lee. All right, guys, here's the full Dark Order out of the set, and I gotta say, man, right off the cuff, I'm having some big issues with this. I, I, I'll be real with you. I mean, they look visually good. Like, I, I like the way all of them look. I think that their proportions and everything, I like the way they look a lot, honestly. Like, I think that they did a fantastic job on the sculpts and, and different things like that. But we're gonna get into all the things that I feel about these figures. We'll break down all their accessories. We're gonna open our Unrivaled packs over here or our Upper Deck packs. I got four of them. We'll open all four of those on camera. I don't even know if you guys care about that or not. I thought it was pretty fun, though. It kind of felt like a freaking... I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a wrestling card channel now. How about that? My damn cards. No, but seriously, some of those card opening channels are pretty damn fire. But we're going to get into all those things, man. We're going to break down every single figure in the set. But let's go ahead and open our four packs first, and then we'll get into every guy. We'll go Stu Grayson, Evil Uno, John Silver, Anna J, and then we'll get into the comparison. We'll show off Brody Lee with all of them. And I'll showcase all their issues, their articulation. We're going to get into all the things, man. This is a full set breakdown just about. But I wanted Brody Lee to have his own figure video just for, you know, in honor of him and everything. So I did want to do that. But let's shut the hell up, get into our packs and then we'll get into all of these details of Dark Order and Unmatched Series number three. All right guys, we got our first of our four packs right here. I'm going to make it really quick and simple, you know, no need to like carry it all out. And if you guys would like to see like one of those booster boxes or, or hobby boxes unboxed here on the channel, let me know. Because we could probably make that happen, but switching it on over, we got, oh nice, we got Cody Rhodes, we have a AEW Magazine Chris Jericho inaugural AEW Champion card, which is pretty cool, it's the first I've seen of this. But we have Cody, that, and then we have Joey Janela, still waiting on his figure, but this is numbers 12, oh, number 1, so we have the number 1 Cody, number 12 Joey, and then we have the number 84 first edition AEW Chris Jericho inaugural champion, so that's a pretty cool card. Getting into pack number 2, again, I 
I don't I don't know which ones these came with, and they're not exclusive to whatever character you got. These are completely randomized as far as I'm concerned. Tearing it open here, and we have Colt Cabana. Very nice. Oh, look at that. Now we have another AEW. Magazine Nick Jackson. Hunt for Tag Team Gold in AEW. We have The Bunny still waiting on her figure, and then Colt Cabana. Pretty cool right there. What numbers are these? We have number 47, 48, and 96. Pretty sweet there. Pack number three. We have Santana. We have Nyla Rose, AEW Magazine. It's weird. I, I didn't get any magazine ones with the Brody Lee, but then we're three for three here in the video with the magazine cards. And then last but not least, we have MJF. So MJF is number 51. Kind of weird he's that late. Maybe there's multiple. But you have 97, 52, and 51. Kind of looks like they're going back-to-backs, and then like a high number is what it seems like with these last few. But now we're on to pack number four. It'd be cool if you could get some damn autos or like some one of 20s or one of fives or something in the in these packs, but you're going down a whole new rabbit hole of collecting if you get into freaking cards, man. I'm telling you right now, I collect a few, but Jesus. So we have the other half. We have Matt Jackson. All Matt Jackson wants for Christmas is to keep the titles. We got a little Take Conti action, and then we have none other than the Dark Order Tag Team card. Evil Uno and Stu Grayson. And that's funny because we're reviewing them literally today. So we have number 67, then you have 39 and 93. Pretty cool stuff, man. I love the cards. I think they're cool. I'll definitely, you know, start my little small collection there, but now we can add these to the rest of our AEW cards. I like it, man. All right, guys, so starting out first with Stu Grayson. I mean, I think the figure aesthetically looks great. I mean, I don't really have issues with this wave as far as aesthetics, man. And also, like, this torso looks narrow to me. Is this a new torso? It kind of looks new to me. I don't know. Here's a Cody figure for comparison. I think it... Is it a little different? Maybe not. Maybe it's the upper chest that... I don't... Maybe it's not at all. Maybe it's just the skin tone that's throwing me off. But it looks a little bit more narrow than the Cody. Am I tripping? Anyways, I like the formula they use for this guy. I think it looks just like his body and everything. Like, everything it looks good from a, a head sculpt perspective. Now, if we get down here into the kilt or the... Uh, you know, the little overthrow right here that's got nice tattered textures going on. You got the purple, you got the orange and the black. It looks really good and everything. We do get like this new leg mold. Now, if you want to get this thing off, there's no little like clip, but you can just unplug him there and then put, you know, reattach the torso right here. And then you get that look right there with his underwear and the Tarzan Jungle Boy style going on. Another thing is this is a separate piece. Much like Adam Hangman Page or Hangman Adam Page, you have your loose piece right here. So you have a little overthrow and nice texturing and sculpts and stuff. So it looks good, man. And I like this. I don't like that this kind of, you know, flails around. I may glue that in place just to, you know, keep it in place and leave all this kind of flailing around. But I don't like that it can do all this. You know, I guess you could remove it if you wanted to. But I do like the sculpts and the paint apps and stuff. These legs look new to me. The thighs, they, they look new. They may not be. But also right here, you got the good old Mattel problem. Look at that. He's got the tights sculpted over his lower leg right there. So he's got freaking revival stuff going on. Or Ty Dillinger. Look at that. He's got like the rips and stuff from the, the, from the sculpt. So these are not, you know, I guess these are regular, th maybe they're just calves. Maybe they're Cody calves or something. I think they are. I think they use Cody calves. You do have the, you know, these aren't Cody thighs though because you would get more rippling and stuff like that. But I think these may be either a new sculpt on the thighs or they may be Sammy Guevara thighs with different skin tone. But he's on ball joints, you know, you can do the splits. These boots are weird. These are not MJF boots. The You guys will notice on the feet right here, they are a bit different and they kind of remind me of basic boots, man. You don't get a ton of ankle pivot going on and they're kind of stiff and I don't really care for that. I like the way that they did the MJF boots and stuff like that. These don't look to be MJF boots, but uh, they're a bit basic-y. Like, they have ankle pivot. I just think that it's a bit stiff, you know? It's not the the most, like, it's not the best thing ever. You do get really cool hand tape sculpt over here as well, which I really enjoy. You guys can see there you got, like, the kind of skin tone wrap and then the white over there and then the same thing over here. Love the way that looks. You get the purple armband over here. Now, if you want to include his wrap and his accessories, you can do that, but he also comes with an interchangeable head sculpt, and this looks really good. Lots of Viking Raider vibes I'm getting over here, but I like it. I think it does capture the likeness. It looks just like him. I like the beard sculpt. I think this is one of the better head sculpts in the entire wave, so that's pretty good right there with the yelling head sculpt. We already took a look at this one, but there's a zoom in shot of it. Then you have like your Dark Order AF hand right here with the hand tape on it, so you can do your signature pose. So that looks pretty good right there. I, I want to say they used this hand with Kenny Omega, except it didn't have hand tape on it. It was very similar at least. You get his mic holding hands, and then you do get his fisted hands, which they do not have the wrist tape sculpt on there. So these are just reused fists. Now for his articulation, man, this is where my biggest problem comes from is on the arms. Like these shoulders are so damn tight. And look at this arm, bro. Look at this. Like I'm barely moving it. 
That is horrific. They're tight everywhere except the bicep swivel. Like, you know how we complained about these being, like, flimsy? These are not flimsy anymore, but the arm is, like, look at that, bro. Oh, my God in heaven. That's unacceptable, man. It really is. Like, that's that's not good. They definitely use stiffer joints here. Like, they don't feel flimsy like before, but now they have zero grip on the peg on the inside, and the arms are just abysmal. And the shoulders are so tight tight on the ratchet. Now, I don't really care for the shoulder tightness. Like, that's fine with me as long as the figure doesn't break. But that arm looseness is ungodly. That cannot happen. But he is super articulated. Like, look at that ab crunch right there. That's excellent. You know, you get your great head movement. He can look up pretty good. He's got, you know, head a little bit of head tilt. You guys saw the ratchet joints. You saw the double joint arms. He can do like a full-fledged split. Look at that right there. You get your upper thigh cut. You get your double jointed knee. You do get your boot swivel and you get ankle rocker and it goes up and down there. But those arms are just abysmal, man. Good lord. Like, that is... Oh! Now, for Evil Uno's accessories, you don't get a whole ton, but you do get a bunch of interchangeable hands, and we get an AEW mic that we've seen before. W kind of looks a bit like, I don't know, like this AEW mic looks like an off-brand AEW mic, if that makes sense. Does it look off-brand to y'all? It kind of looks off-brand to me for some reason. Maybe I'm just tripping, or I don't know. All Elite Wrestling, we've seen this mic before. He also comes with interchangeable fisted hands. He has one mic holding hand on the right, and then like a grappling hand on the left out of the packaging, and then of course you have your Dark Order pose hand, and then you have another grappling hand for the other side so not much with his accessories so getting into evil uno starting out with the mask sculpt i think it's solid it's not my favorite it's a bit generic but i do love the mask sculpt like all of this right here is sculpted in there i think the mask looks terrific like these weird teeth and you know like the different sculpts that he's got going on with the buckles and the studs and stuff i really like the mask sculpt like a really good head sculpt and it has a lot of great articulation on it which i really like he can look up and down i like the purples on it they did a really good job on it i like that i just don't think i like the way it looks under the mask maybe like the eyes poking through i feel like they could have done a different job on that. However, going down, he's got kind of an Elite 85 Undertaker deal going on where he has like this rubber piece over his torso. I don't know what torso he has under there. It's probably... I don't know what torso it is. You know, you'd have to cut it off. I'm not going to cut it off. It isn't removable, but you do have some nice like buckles and, and studs and stuff going on. I like the colors and everything. You have your white wrist tape on there, but it's actually sculpted on. It's not just painted on, so they actually got the sculpt on there, which I really like. You know, it is on the arm. It's not like re removable or anything. It's got his flat piece crotch. You do have some sculpted lines on to these legs, which I really like. So you do get like the form fitting here. Got the studs painted on there and stuff on the back. More sculpt work going on. You got your knee pads. I really like the sock sculpt underneath the boots right there with the white. Really like the way that looks. I think that looks just like Evil Luna. It's a really, I mean, it's a solid figure. It's probably one of my favorite ones in the set. He still has like that basic boot mode going on. I want to say him and Stu have the same exact boots. Yeah, I think they do have the same exact boots, except Evil Uno's does have the purple details in there. Nonetheless, I do like the figure. I think it poses around pretty solid too okay so there you go that that's the lower part of the torso it looks like it's a is that a freaking it looks like they used the pop torso maybe for this evil uno which i don't know if that was a good decision or not you know i don't think it looks bad i think he may be a bit wider than this but it still works out pretty good i like the way it looks it's it's very toyetic you know his articulation he can do the full splitsies he's got the upper thigh cut he's got a solid double jointed knee he's got the boot rotation he does have like the same boots as Stu grayson again his shoulders feel a lot better his biceps swim is a lot better too. It is a little bit loose, but not quite like Stu Grayson's was, which is nice. I like the way the U Evil Uno feels. He feels good in the hand, I'll tell you that. That Stu Grayson figure, though, bless its soul. But I do like the Evil Uno a lot. So for John Silver's accessories, man, you do get this overthrow coat. Okay, it is rubber, but I will say, you know, when they're long vest types like this, I mean, it's not the worst case, right? I mean, it could be worse, you know? It could have these long arm things, you know? I think for John Silver, this works out. I don't really have any issues with it. You know, you got the purple stripes, you got the silver, you got the black going through. You do have, you know, your, your Dark Order silver on the back. I like this graphic a lot. I think they did a really good job on this. You know, you got, you know, silver in here. You got the four there with the IV. I mean, it's a really nice touch there. Nice details going on. Black and purple and silver going down. You got the purple lining on it. You got some cool details. You got the collar. I mean, it's it's solid. If it's the figure well, I don't really, like, hate it. Could be a lot worse. As far as head sculpts, he actually posted a picture on social media of him, like, holding his figure doing this face. And I don't think it's horrible. I just think this whole wave kind of looks a bit like 
like old school Mattel, like before we got the true effects is what it really reminds me of. But you do get the interchangeable heads. We'll take a look at the other one in just a moment. But you know, you get the long beard. I think the, you know, it looks like him. I don't, I don't really like hate it, but again, it is kind of a more cartoony feel, not as realistic as I'd like. He also comes with fisted hands. I think the whole set does, honestly. And then you have your hand that we've seen with the rest of them. Now for John Silver, here's the same head sculpt, you know, that we were talking about before. Still pretty cartoony, you know, I don't think it's a perfect head, but I still like it, you know, it's not, I don't know, it doesn't really look too much like him. It's not my favorite head sculpt whatsoever. I think the other head has better likeness, but I like this expression better, I guess. Nonetheless, he they did give him the pot torso, it looks like, or this may be a new upper torso. God, I gotta learn these torsos, man. But they, they kind of give him some chunkage up top on the, on the chesticles, but he's got his black wrist tape, you know, nothing going on there. He's got some tight shoulders as well. His biceps aren't near as loose either, but he does have tight, you know, ratchet shoulder joints there. You do have the purple tights there with the black. Of course, just like his coat, you see the silver on the back, got the IV, looks really good. I can already see people making different customs with this crotch piece here. Going down to the legs, this does look to be the pock legs, and then he does have his dark order knee pad, and then he does have kick pad rotation, which is just so gorgeous. Thank God they gave him that, but you do get, the, these are the same kick pads we saw with Miro and Pac, I do believe, but you get the wide open crotch there. You get the upper thigh cut, which is tight. Nice ab crunch. And John Silver's a short dude, man. I mean, look, Anna J is almost his height, so he is a short guy. Here's a Cody up next to him, so you guys can see right there how short he is, and he is a short guy, so there is that, but he brings the he brings the wood, you know? But I like the double jointed arms. It's a solid figure. Nice first figure for John Silver, but let's get into the last figure. Now, for Anna J's accessories, you do get two interchangeable heads. Here is the second one. This is the smiley face one, you know? We kind of saw this similar to Alexa Bliss, you know? It's just like the smiley face there. You got the light brown hair going down. I feel like the hair color on this head is different than the other one. We'll see about that in just a moment. We'll take a closer look at the head, but I don't really care for the smiling head sculpt. I thought, I honestly think that the serious face that comes on the figure is a little bit better and stronger in likeness, but she also has her dark quarter hand as well as her mic holding hands. So, you know, it's like that claw hand that they give the women's figures for some reason. I don't really care for it, to be honest with you, but a lot of the women's figures have this, and then of course, you know, you got your like signature hand here. It's nice to see it in a smaller hand. They didn't just throw a man men's hand in there. They actually got, you know, a correct sculpt in there, so that's really nice nice to see. Now for Anna J, I do like this head sculpt. I feel like, you know, my left eye has like some sort of like, maybe it's just the shininess that's coming across right there, but I think it could be stronger, but it's not a bad head sculpt. I do like it. I think it does have her, her, her expression down. I do like the choker around the neck right there. I like the gear, the silver, the purple, and the black. I like the chase figure of this a lot, but you do have, you know, the stuff going on there, double jointed arms. On the back, you do have the rear end going on right there, so they actually do have the under cheekage going on. You got the back of the top there on the on the butt like we discussed you got the star pattern there very nice details on the gear she's got kind of like that reptilian like finn balor demon nxt gear kind of scalage going on she's got her polka dot knee pads and then she has these newly sculpted boots i don't think we've seen these boots before i don't think they look to be new and she does have boot rotation which is so beautiful to see and she has an ankle rocker right there which is great and she has the up and down there but i like the anna j figure i will say that her waist is a little bit loose which is kind of random for a women's figure I feel like. I don't think the rest of them are like that, but articulation, she can look down pretty good bit. Can't look up because of the long hair. She has pretty damn tight shoulders, but she can you know, go, go above 90 right there. You got the full rotation. Her arms are not near as loose as Stu Grayson's. I don't think, uh, her right arm's kind of loose, to be honest with you, but Jesus, man, like, uh, yeah, it's a damn loose arm. That shit is so annoying. Christ, man. Like, it looks like it's about to fall off. Huh, anyway. Got the split C's upper thigh cut. She does have double jointed knees. Knee pads kind of prevent it there and the loose the loose waist is is bothersome i will say but it is anna J, and i like anna J. I think she's getting better but damn man these loose limbs are driving me nuts it's almost like the aj style shoulder deal where it's like Christ. All right, guys, so here's Mr. Brody Lee with the full Dark Order, at least the members that we have so far. I like them. I think they look great again, man, but those loose arms are killing me, man. They are just doing a number on my mental toll, but, uh, you know, uh, the, the Stu Grayson is pretty much unusable, to be honest with you. Like, it's pretty bad, but Brody Lee looks amazing. Up next to all of them, I will be real with you there. I like the way they all look, uh, but yeah, here's Stu Grayson. Like, look at this, dude. I like, uh, like, look at that. I like turn this, bro, and like, came out here and looked like it just fell over 
like that. So that's a definite issue. I don't know if I can get another one. I don't know if, uh, I don't know. I hope all of them aren't like that because that's terrible and hopefully that won't be the case. But at the end of the day, this is Dark Order. They look great. I like I like the full set, like as far as aesthetics, but those loose limbs have got to go. And I don't know what they can do to really fix it, but I like the sculpts we got going on, man. If you want to pick these up, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MD Toys. I know this wasn't our typical review. We kind of front shot it like a full set here. You know, we, we typically do that with like build a figure waves, WrestleMania elites, different store exclusives. If there's like four or like legends or something like that. But in this case, we wanted to do it this way just so we didn't have to separate the two there. Since we did Brody Lee by himself, I guess the rest could buy themselves. And that was pretty nice right there. But anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you think of this set. If I had to rank them, I don't know. I'll leave that in my damn thoughts. We'll, we'll get into the full set and break everything down and the best and worst. And you, you guys know how that works. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you so much for watching the video. And uh, you guys already know, don't cross the line like Stu Grayson's arm over here. Woof. You cross the line.